It's a brand new day and a brand new month. Good morning, my precious brothers and sisters. It's June the 1st, the first day of June, 2015. Gather around with me this morning. I have a very important message, and I know what it is, Holy Spirit inspired and Holy Spirit filled, that I deliver this message to you today. Now, I want you to understand, there are many spirits that have gone out into the world spirits of lies spirits of deception spirits of fear spirits of disease spirits of sickness spirits that torment us spirit of anxiety spirit of depression there are numerous spirits that have invaded even the church today the true believer the born again covered in the blood of believers those saved by grace there's only one spirit that we should follow and that is the Holy Spirit there's only one Holy Spirit that dwells within us but to ward off these spirits that have invaded the church today so many today are in pain and then they're suffering and they're suffering anxiety depression physical uh, infirmities of the body engulfed in a spirit of fear because we're living in the end times and this is not of the Holy Spirit the only spirit that should be covering you is the Holy Spirit all these other spirits creep in they are demons of the enemy of Satan many Christians today believe because this is how they were taught that when Jesus went to that cross, the Satan and his demons were defeated. Satan, right now, is very powerful. Spiritual warfare is real in the spirit realm. It is real. Demons are real. And they want to come in and distract you, and to torment you, and to torture you, to pull you away from God's kingdom. And if you are covered in the blood and truly born again, and you keep the Holy Spirit dwelling within you these demons will flee but how do we do this first talk about pain and infirmities of the body I posted on Facebook uh, last night I was in severe pain and I asked for prayer there is power when the enemy comes on the attack to distract there is power in the blood of Jesus Yeshua there's power in prayer and there's power in his name that's why I asked for prayer let me take it to my Facebook page real quick I posted this on my Facebook wall you can see 11 that's it, 11 hours ago and it was very simple need prayers for healing I was really really suffering and in a lot of pain a great deal of pain and I know this is of the enemy but his demons attack and cause pain and infirmities of the body and through the power of prayer these demons will be freed and bound and cast into the abyss and an overwhelming overwhelming number of prayers and yes these demons will invade true believers of the body of Christ they will come in and they will attack us and try to bring us away from the kingdom that's what their task is that Satan has assigned them and one precious brother typed out a very special prayer for me to bind these demons these demonic spirits that want to come in and cause pain and suffering of the body and affliction I want to share this with all of you today I want to bring you encouragement many demon spirits have indeed infiltrated the church of Jesus Christ today and many brothers and sisters born again are being constantly tormented by such demons such demon spirits as the spirit of resentment the spirit of deception the spirit of lies a spirit of witchcraft the spirit of fornication the spirit of lust the spirit of adultery and most importantly again the spirit of fear many today have fallen prey many church leaders many ministers pastors evangelists those preaching the gospel of salvation have fallen prey to these demon spirits and there's only one way to conquer these spirits and to keep them 
away from your door. We're going to talk about that in a moment. Let's go to my Facebook page because I want to share with you the prosperity gospel for a moment if I can. And have demon spirits, has the Kundalini spirit, the snake spirit that mimics the Holy Spirit, has it really truly invaded the church today through deception, the spirit of deception and fear. I'll be right back. I posted this on my Facebook wall this morning as well, and I want to share the audio with all of you. I'm not going to play the video due to uh, copyright uh, infringement, and I don't want to get uh, flagged, but so very important because demons are real in the spirit realm, and have they attacked and took over the lives of these prosperity preachers, such as uh, Joyce Myers, uh, Beth Moore, Paula White, Joel Osteen, Benny Hinn, T.D. Jakes, and, and so many, many more. I'll be right back. We're going to play the audio. Let me share this with all of you now. This is from CNN. Just have a listen for a moment. Now this next story is, uh, well, it, it makes me angry. I'm sure it makes you angry as well when you hear these stories. You can almost call it a protected racket. And I'm talking about televangelists. That's right. The ones who rake in billions of dollars a year on donations because they are nonprofit ministries. Don't even have to declare any of this stuff. The men of the cloth don't have to tell anybody just how much they make or uh, even how they spend it. They don't even have to pay taxes. And now a Senate panel is investigating a money trail that leads straight into the pocketbooks of several of these televangelists. We're talking about lavish lifestyles here. Rolls Royce, $2,000 suits. And that's just the tip of the unchristlike personal greed involved in some of these churches. Ole Anthony is the president of the Trinity Foundation. Uh, he's investigated televangelists for 20 years now. Finally. Finally, they are, this is from CNN, uh, and it was recorded live. Finally, they are doing a thorough investigation into these uh, so-called preachers of the gospel, or the prosperity gospel. You know, it, it, it's amazing. I mean, uh, I'm a Christian, and I certainly believe in doing everything you can. And it doesn't mean that these guys aren't allowed to have a nice suit and a nice house and a nice car. But when you start talking about a Rolls Royce, and a mil several million dollar home and, and private Lear jets and, and a $23,000 toilet. I mean, that's just over the pale, isn't it? It's, it's unbelievable. Somehow the church in America has been hijacked by greed. And it's uh, very, very sad because it's a testimony in how we are not caring for the spirit, another spirit, not the Holy Spirit. There's only one spirit that we are to be consumed with to overtake us, and that is the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh. Greed is a spirit, a demon spirit. The poor in our country. I just think, and, and, and this is me, and this is the part that makes me crazy. When I think of Jesus Christ, and I think of the way we as Christians in many cases worship today, we are so unlike him so unlike him in so many ways. Would Jesus do any of these things? Would Jesus drive a Bentley? Would Jesus wear a $2,000 suit? I mean, would Jesus buy a, a toilet worth $23,000? Well, how about would he uh, live in a $12.5 million mansion? Or drive, <laughs> I mean, fly a Citation 10 jet? Or get plastic surgery for the man and woman so that they would appear nice on television? It's, it's, it's a travesty, and it's, I, as I said, we are not caring for the poor. The poor and the needy are who Christ called us to meet their need, not to become greedy money grubbers. You've looked into this. I mean, here's a couple of the names that are being investigated now by the Senate, uh, and they're asking them to come clean and say, look, how much you got and what are you doing? with?" There's one of them right there, Benny Hinn. Another one is Creflo Dollar. Another one is Kenneth Copeland. Uh, Bishop Eddie Long, Joyce Meyer, Randy White. Who are these people? Tell us about it. Well, Benny Hinn is someone that we've uh, I've met personally with. He made me a promise he was going to reform. He was going to stop living in mansions and driving expensive. And let me say this. I'm going to stop the video there. I'm going to share a portion of this with you. Finally, the Senate now is doing a full investigation into these prosperity preachers, but we were called 
by Yeshua to be disciples. We were called to go take care of the least of these, the brethren, the needy, the tired, the hungry, the poor, the impoverished, and the destitute, not to live lavish lifestyles. This is a spirit, a demon spirit of greed. And also, so many today, we're living in the end times, and uh, I don't do a lot of videos, and I don't hype my videos up on uh, on fear. Operation Jade Helm, we're, we're in the month of June right now, and there have been massive earthquakes, and I will report on an earthquake, because we are living in the end times, but I do not know. I do not know what will take place. I believe we are so close to the rapture of the church, but I'm not going to come on and just instill you with fear because a fear of martial law fear of operation jade helm uh this summer uh in walmart stores with barbed wire fences and uh, now they're turning them into fema internment camps we don't know whatever is god's will god is going to allow the prophecies to be fulfilled but we don't have that knowledge and why promote fear when it is not for us, it is not for the true body of believers, we are not to have a spirit of fear and anxiety. These are demon spirits. We're only supposed to have the Holy Spirit. So why, as a church leader, as a pastor here on YouTube and in the real world, why would I instill a demon spirit into you? If you're following someone and they are promoting end time type events, asteroids and fireballs and uh, death and destruction they have attached to them a demon spirit the spirit of fear we only have one spirit and that is the Holy Spirit I want to show something with you we were out with the ministry Friday and the, uh, my wife and I when we were ministering to the homeless community in the city of Flint and uh, we got caught in a torrential downpour rain it has been raining unseasonably so much uh, through the entire month of May. Now we're in the month of June. It rained for three days straight and we had flooding yesterday. And we got caught in a downpour. But Sunday, talk about born again Christians. Yes, these demon spirits can come upon you and you don't even realize this. Let me get out of Facebook here for a moment. Just so nothing uh, interrupts us here. Hopefully that worked. And let me get back to where I was uh, at here. A precious sister who is born again, and she's a born again believer. Talk about the homeless. We're going to talk about the homeless in a moment here. There was a neighbor of hers who lost his employment and had a very difficult time. He lived there with his son. And got evicted. I guess they went through the court process and uh, they set all of his belongings out while he was at work and the son was not home to the curb on a Sunday. Now, the sister, I thought she was helping this brother in need. She went with her truck. She's got a great big truck and she loaded up uh, as much of uh, his uh, property as she could and put it in her storage but what she did is she said well I'll call him and let him know I'll, I'll give him some money she actually stole this man's belongings his furniture his bed uh, his big screen TV and she didn't see any wrong in that she said I, well, I went and took it and I, I need this or when I get my new house she planned on getting a, a brand new big house while this man is in the I've been there. I've been homeless my entire family. In great desperation, this born again believer, Sunday churchgoer, basically stole the man's furniture. We've got to stop this. There is only one way. And that is, we've got to come out of the world. You want to rid yourself of these demons of torment, of uh, that they torment you with the spirit of jealousy. All these spirits spirit of resentment spirit of unforgiveness spirit of resentment when i call out these false teachers and false prophets on youtube i recently called out pastor paul begley now when you are disliking my videos what one person one follower of his 
left a comment that they hate me. Stop attacking Pastor Paul Begley, a man of God. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. The spirit of hate, when you follow these preachers, these pastors, and they need prayer. We need to pray for them. Not only expose them, but pray for them. Pray for the corrupt low dollars. Pray for the um, T.D. Jakes. Pray for the Benny Hens. Pray for these pastors because they have been uh, attacked by spiritual warfare. If you do not have a relationship, if you have religion and you don't have a relationship with the Father, you and you are not girded up and you don't do not have on your whole armor of god these demons will come in that is spiritual warfare wickedness in high places the only way to defeat the enemy is to cast and bind these demons and send them to the depths of the abyss in chains and shackles but it takes more than knowing the word than memorizing scripture knowing your bible and knowing scripture you've got to come out of the world to have this discernment and have this protection and to be covered with the holy spirit you've got to have a personal relationship with the father yahweh yod hey what hey hand behold and nail behold you've got to know him you've got to talk to him you've got to take time out of your day out of the world out of facebook off the internet off of youtube being consumed with these unholy spirits and you need to seek him and have time with him when you do that when you go to the father and you long to spend this time with him that's when the enemy flees. These spirits cannot come upon you. I love you all. Lift our homeless ministry up in prayer. Uh, nothing to report on. We had a, a couple of offerings that came in over the weekend, and I shared that on our live tiny chat. And uh, that's another way the enemy comes on the attack. Uh, he will put the thought in your mind to not help people in need, to turn a blind eye to the poor to the hungry and to the homeless and not give to ministries like this that is not of the holy spirit in the end days jesus spoke that many will say lord lord didn't we cast out demons didn't we prophesy in your name and he will say depart from me i never knew you you cannot allow these demon spirits to enter into the church and our body it, we are the church and the only way to defeat them is to run to the Father and just spend that time with him. Tell him everything that's bothering you, everything on your mind. And be powerful in him. I love you all. I hope this has blessed you today. Leave me comments. If you feel led, please, if you feel led to give to our ministry. We're grounded today. We have no means to go out with the ministry. And that is a, that is a demon attack of the enemy. I'll put the link below.